Hey, this is Trish for day seven, January 7th, 2015. And uh, I'm a little bundled up right now because it's getting colder. Um, it's gonna get down to about 21 degrees tonight, which is very cold for us um, here on the gorgeous Mississippi Gulf Coast. In fact, it was uh, hot enough this earlier this week, just a few days ago, that I had the air conditioner on. And so now it's gonna get down to 21 tonight. So I'm kind of bundled up while I'm working. But I wanted to take a break from what I'm doing from my work, uh, which I love, but I'm taking a break just because I need to focus on some other things for just a few minutes. Um, and it just kind of made me think that uh, I know a lot of people don't like their jobs. They don't like their lives. They don't like a lot of things in their life. And so I just wanted to encourage you, if you're one of those people, I want to encourage you to do something every single day that helps you start to live the life that you want to live or get the job that you want, your dream job or your dream career to live in your dream city. Um, you have to work on that every single day. Um, some of the things that I have um, coming out in the next few months, a book that I've written, uh, actually I wrote it as a screenplay a few years ago, uh, a, a vocal CD that I've been working on, it seems like it's taken forever to finally get this sucker released out into the world. Um, but these are things that I've been working on steadily all, all along. And if I had never started them, you know, who knows when I would have actually gotten to them when I had all of the time that I needed and, or all the money that I needed at one time to make these things happen. For most of us, we don't have those luxuries. We have to work on things a little bit at a time. So if you only have 10 minutes a day to work on something you truly love to help make your life better in the future, then take that 10 minutes for yourself. And it could be 10 minutes when you're driving home. It could be maybe 10 minutes just to yourself at nighttime. Maybe you've put the kids to bed and your partner's in the shower. And that's, if that's the only time you have to yourself for you to think and you know, plan <laughs> your mastermind of dreams, then do it. Do that. But you have to do a little bit every day. Otherwise, it just gets so overwhelming and the dreams really do seem um, impossible. They seem so out of reach. But do a little bit every single day, even if it's just planning or thinking about it, um, and just spend a few minutes a day. And it doesn't have to be anything... Um, like, if your dream is to to own a, you know, a music store or, a, you know, an ice cream parlor, whatever your dream is, you deserve to have your dream. So spend a few minutes every single day working toward your dream and don't let anybody deter you. No one, especially the people closest to you, family, friends, coworkers, uh, you know, the people that just don't understand. You have a right to your dreams. Spend a few minutes every single day working toward your dream so that you can one day have everything that you want. You can do it. Okay. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.